Uh, let's see, forgive us to you know, I think I've got this done. I've finally got this <coughs> paper done, for God's sakes. Now, they're telling me I have to submit it to Digital Commons. Now, what in the hell is Digital Commons? Oh, this technology is going to drive me crazy. Now, where do I go? See, the website is... Are you having trouble submitting it to Digital Commons? Are you a student, grad student, or faculty member who has worked continuous hours conducting research, writing papers, and reports, and you just want to share it with the world? Well, I'm here to help. Yes, I'm talking to you. The dude behind the computer screen at 1.48 in the morning with a bag of Cheetos next to him. Looking good, Professor. I beg your pardon. These are not Cheetos. These are wasabi peas. Thank you. I don't eat Cheetos. Whether you are an overachieving student or even a technologically challenged professor, I am here to guide you on how to submit your scholarship into Digital Commons. Let's get started. First, you are going to digitalcommons.pittstate.edu. Once there, you will need to create an account. Click on My Account, then select Create New Account. Then click the Sign Up button. Fill in the brief form and create a password. Once you've done that, you'll get an activation email. On the activation email, select the link and log in with your new account information. Woohoo! That's it! You're done! Kidding. Unfortunately, computers aren't as magical as that. Yet. Next step is to upload your scholarship and research. Once signed in, you will go to Submit Research tab under the author corner heading on the right side of the computer. To submit your research, you will next click on Electronic Thesis Collection. Review and agree to the terms and the submission certifications, and be sure to keep a copy of your own records. Once reviewed, click Continue and complete the submission form. This form is very important. Carefully read the directions and make sure to fill out everything. This will include the title, author, date of the final oral examination, degree name, department, keywords, subject categories, abstract, and comments. Now that the form has been filled out completely, you will now enter the names and email address of your three committee members to review your thesis and your committee chair as your first advisor. After doing this, you will select Upload File from your computer option and locate your thesis. After selecting these, click the Submit button. Once you have submitted the thesis and required info, you will be able to see all the information you entered. Double check if this information is correct. If revisions are needed, click Revise Submission and Make Changes. Make sure to click Save after revisions have been made. Once you have submitted, you will receive a confirmation email. You can click the link to view the status of your submission and submit revisions or contact administrators. Now patience. You have correctly submitted your scholarship, but it has not been finished completely. Another email will be sent alerting when office graduates and continuing studies have finished the formal check. Click the link in this email to review requested revisions and revise thesis. Click Review Decisions to see your forming or formatting errors. Once done correcting formatting errors, click Review Thesis and upload the corrected document. Now for the final event, the final approval. After all committee members have reviewed and verified the document slash info submitted, thesis will be posted into Digital Commons. An email will be sent stating that it has been posted and how you can print and copy. Well, there you have it. You've done it. You can now share all of your hard work digitally with the world. Now, seriously, get some sleep. Goodbye. Huh. This is amazing. I want to thank this lady that popped up on my computer screen. Huh. Digital Commons. That's where it's at, man. Yeah.